Hey, what's going on everyone? This is just a quick aside video, not directly related to the theory or the practice or whatever of Kubernetes, but if you just wanna um, cycle through like a project from the beginning, um, I just wanna show you how to clean up your resources so that you're not spending money uh, after going through something. So this is the cleanup steps that you need to do. First, uh, you can see we've got our It's Alive post here. Uh, we're gonna shut this bad boy down. And the way we do that is uh, by first, deleting our Kubernetes cluster. You're gonna to have to type in the name of the cluster to destroy it, which is why I just recommend using all the same you know, names that, that I do in the series. Um, this cluster, this is gonna delete all of your nodes, but if you remember, we also created volumes and uh, a load balancer. These are gonna to need to wait for cluster shutdown to be deletable, so what you're gonna do is go to networking in the meantime, load balancers, go to the settings for the load balancer that you created. At the bottom, there is a destroy button. You can confirm and maybe the we're in time to get the volumes. Sometimes it just takes a little while for these to uh, be deletable without, without errors. Yes, okay. We get a green alert JS and we're good. Okay, so that's the cleanup that you need to follow. Your networking, your volumes, uh, and obviously first the, the cluster. I guess I just gave you the reverse order, which is totally unhelpful. Uh, so <laughs> you <laughs> delete the delete your cluster, delete your load balancer, and then delete the storage volumes that were created. Now our beautiful, beautiful blog is nothing, and all of its data is nothing, and this will time out, and nothing's listening at that IP anymore, and we all we cry, and yet we laugh, because soon we will create another Kubernetes cluster. So I just put this here for like restarting from a blank slate after this cleanup. If you're running through this process a few times, um, or you bork your cluster state, or you create too many volumes, or whatever it is, this is a way to start over from scratch, nice and clean. Uh, these instructions really come from here. Um, I'm not trying to maintain them in two places, so you know, if anything doesn't work, just check here. This is the authoritative um, file for these instructions. But just to make it easier, this gets you back to where you need to be for this project and the, you know, getting the CCM installed, which you'll have to do every single time on the new cluster. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. I hope that saves you some money, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.